Hey guys, it's Formulka. Welcome back to the Auto Turks, where we are invading the Mamelukes. And wow, the knights! Holy Mameluk fleet! Okay, let's not risk that. Let's just drop that there, right? I don't want to lose my ten precious guys. My precious. Okay, maybe we can sneak by like this. Move them to the front line faster. Okay, only 1%, that's fine. Oh, he's fighting Venice as well. That should help with their fleet. This deal with their fleets. <laughs> that's for goddamn sure. I don't know where he's going, but I don't like that. Yeah, he's just... He's like, uh, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, um, maybe nothing is the answer. Yes, the answer. It's the secret, secret answer to the question. Jerdy is you, must be a vassal of him or Hedges. Jerdy a Fezan. Oh yeah, the problem with those guys is that now that they have the minimum income, uh, they always feel like the first limit of army is like 15 guys with from just those two fellas. Oh shit! I need both, but just one. That event just happened and dropped the army under the required limit. Hmm. Let's build up our army a little bit. Let's build a couple more mercenaries, shall we? Six be enough. Getting close, I would like at least a little bit of a discount on that though. Yeah, but they are occupied by peasants. I understand your idea, though. Yeah, he is just like... This is just insane. Look at that. So, well, they're only three guys. That's fine. They just have a big enough army to cause me some trouble. He's going to attack. That's 100% sure. I have my... General in the back pocket. He's attacking here. It's exactly what I was expecting. 43 regiments. That may be troublesome. 26. Should be locked already, right? I don't think they will back down even now. Um, yeah, you can say. Uh, we can spend five of these fellas over there as well. Yeah. This will be the fight, guys. He has five attrition. You just have to join fast enough to be able to defend. Fuck you! You can't defeat us, Mamelukes, not even with your foolish allies. Get out! Get out! That's right, bitch. What's that? All mercenaries. Interesting. You go back to the back pocket. I don't need your access anymore, so I will cancel it and you'll start be getting claims on someone juicy again. Silly, silly, silly Mamelukes. We still don't have the, the, the war girl. It's hurting us war, our war score quite a bit. Servers are gone. And you'll be able to increase our economy when they come back. I like the money from Italy. What the other... I don't know. But Cypriot peasants. So this is his... This, these are his own peasants. So Cyprus is like life. Those can't be nationalists because he's just a vassal. 
or something. No, he's being attacked by Venice, I think. Yeah, that's the that's the gist of it. And he's just chilling over there. Like these big like times where you can't do anything are causing your uh, tradition just to drop down like a stone. It's really bad. Should still use this guy. Let's use him on the front line for it because I want it to fall as fast as possible. And look, if I do this, and now it's like just this guy. See, He's, he still goes with the majority of the army. I don't know what the design decision be beyond, be behind this is. Maybe it's part of the anti-exploit where you were able to move him out just by moving the army to the other half. But this is just stupid. Maybe it's just like, like a leftover of one of the solutions. They just didn't remove. But it's dumb. And there should be an indicator where your general will, en will end up, which I don't think there is. I don't even know what these names mean. So this is the name of my army. Holy shit, they have special armies. Special names. Okay, Austria is at war. With Wallachia and Toda. <laughs> Hungary wants these super expensive cars. Well, good luck, Hungary. <laughs> Hungary. <laughs> yeah, paying for like 20 development, paying 300 or something. Admin points, that's just, that's the stuff. It's the stuff of legends. But if he takes everything except for one province, I will attack Valakia. And actually, I don't want to do it yet. Hey, we siege that province. Fantastic. See where moving in? Hopefully he's not going to take any of this. I can't let him take those. That's basically what I can't do. Can't let him. Oh, we breached both of the forts. Fantastic. I don't think any more cores beyond those two are available. Actually, this one I will give him to block myself away from the, the Mamelukes. But those two I want because they are for the Pentarchy. For Pentarchy! Hopefully, th those two. I think they are, yeah. And this is also like a trade, uh, trade center. Don't tell me he will take that. Actually, it doesn't matter. This is the one I want to give him anyway. Another CK2 run, maybe. I have to find the time and the opportunity to test that game again. Let's just fabricate on Naples. Just who gives a shit? Okay, he's attacking again. <sighs> we have reinforcements again, sufficient reinforcements, but look at our manpower, it's just dwindling. Prozoye, Prozoye, welcome on board, sir, thank you so much for following. Or is it Prozoyle, 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 maybe it's Prozoyle. I want these guys to be locked, they are locked, so now we can reinforce. So actually we can reinforce quite a bit. And this time, yeah, see, this is bullshit. I was sieging this province. And he can, okay, I did this one first. Hell yeah. So, Mama looks, get out. Get out! It's a shame that it's like such a huge army. Because otherwise you'd be able to squish them. It's just them. We can't. But you know what, there's nothing standing between me and his, and his capital. So it said this guy there. Ismail go back home and straight for the capital. Nothing shall stand in our way. We may even have enough war score for what we want. Just finish that cl the claim on the Aragon and we'll see what's what. I would like that coastline and of course uh, the Jerusalem as well. I would like those to, to Syria so all this is cheaper. That would be slightly amazing. I'm not going to attack AQ. I may just release him or something. 
until all this is all this all the way to Persia is done. And again, I will feed those two provinces to Persia. So I'm blocked off from that direction as well. You are just being silly. Move on, move on, move on. Attack, attack, attack. My neck is just like... <sighs> he attacked my 12 guys. Well, good luck with that. That's gonna work. Yeah, that's just like... You showed me just like... Yeah. Yeah. You insufferable oaf. Why are they just chilling over here? I have to... Oh. Well, I will just wait for this to recover, I guess. Then we'll attack with the whole army. This is a lie. I don't know. This should show you uh, an average of all these armies in there. Not just like some one well, of the highest values, because that doesn't make any sense. Because their average morale will be like somewhere in the third, in the first third. But because there's like a one guy there with a high morale, it will show you this one, which is bullshit. I'm going to finish it. I need you. You need to select. My super guy, super guile, super guile. And then we'll just smash through the army. I don't need the rest of the guys even. Should be an easy fight. Here go there and just to be on the safe side, just just smash them over there. Over there, just smash them. See that the more I was just shattered. You already arrived. See where the serious are coming in. Uh, it's not a squish. No, I don't know. I can actually hunt him down now. I don't want to use this leader for that though. So I will. I will waste a bit of time. Moving over here. Let's take the other guy. And what the fuck is in the way? There's actually a fort. No. Oh, I can't go beyond this fort. Oh, shit. Alright. Well. That's a shame. Isn't it? I think it is. But we'll do just this. And everyone just chill. Siege the easy stuff. Maybe loot some places. And they will come back. You can be sure of that. Admin, admin, admin. admin. Are you alright? I didn't even get there. But you are right. Admin. And it's not discounted. Shit. That's just sad. That production efficiency isn't. I'm not sure if we can take. Uh, I think we can take the ideas. Yeah, this will be admin 100%. I was tempted by religious, but to get to the strong one, we don't need that. No, admin first. First and foremost, and uh, let's make our mission mercenaries cheaper. It will be radically cheap to core of this shit. This will not show this in the overseas now. But basically it will be half. So we can make our mercenaries cheaper right away, I think. Decision to be made. Well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like beating on people for extra money from the taxes. Taxation! We have some yaya still guys over here. I think I will just disband them, merge them, split off the yayas, just normally merge them and actually completely disband them. Yeah, outdated. I was trapped in this one time before and I forgot to upgrade them for the longest time. So I think we have some yayas over here as well, only a couple. Like three regiments, four, five, eight, about five regiments, it's fine. We should also go actually siege up uh, Hedges so we can piece him out. I think just going and sieging his capital, which is his only fort, will be enough. So I think we'll do that. Those Armenians are again at 70%. Also Diplo. At least that's discounted, right? Take it. 
50, yeah, I think it was at minus 5 for a while. He would have a lot more money if I'd taken those beforehand, but I think... I always feel like saving a couple of those Murak points is better. Hey, Brozui! Oh, that's a good question, not for me. But as no one... Ah. Oh, well, thank you, Matija. I'm nowhere on the level of uh, DDR Jake. I don't think anyone is. Even he screws up from time to time, but my scrubs are way, way more likely. For example, that diplomat that's not doing anything. I have to set him somewhere. I'd like for him to probably get claims on him. England is just getting. He's. He had those noble rebels there forever. I'm pretty sure they sieged this up like a long time. Let me check it out, actually. Yes. Fitland rebels. 1454, 11 years. Actually, no. Someone liberated it, but then they took it again. <laughs> uh, must be... Is this from the War of the Roses? Feels like it should be over. No marriage from France, not really, no. You like me sufficiently enough, France. As it is. Humanist is better than religious. Uh, I don't know Exodus now. I maybe with Sunni, but if you have to convert a lot of Sunni provinces, you need religious ideas. You need them. You can't convert them without it. And we are going to drop beyond, like below, like uh, fifty percent soon enough. We don't get any stinking bad patriarch authority. Need that. Look at that. That's just so good. If you go all the way up, yes, you will lose third of your income from taxation. Be four ducats. I would pay four ducats for minus three reward risk and extra 33% manpower. Yes, I would go for it. And then we can't really. I guess we can. Just those guys and those guys. I have to only sit on his capital actually, so this will be sufficient. Just go there, sit on the face of the of the hedges, he'll be south, and then you'll have a bit less of an army to deal with. More claims on Aragon. Oh my god, you are right. Holy shit. I should claim this, by the way. Probably get claims on Messina. I want Sicily. That's a lot of stuff. And the worst part is this is Europe, so I will only get my own discounts. So it will still st cost like a hundred when I get there. Even uh, Malta isn't half bad. Can I fabricate on it? On this. We can have even fabricate on Sardinia down here. Again, we can't attack with Aragon right now. Those claims are kind of pointless. Because he's allied to France. But if we get France to attack Castile for us, then we can attack Aragon. Oh, he has 0.8 guys there. Holy shit. And it's not even his. This is Fezan's army. Hey, Fezan. How are you doing, sir? Let's kill that. Kill it! Murderize them. I'm, I have a feeling that 58% may be enough, especially if he... Oh shit, well, we have to wait for that to happen, so... Well, I guess I will just sit there. Maybe he'll offer me a piece out, that would be good. DDR Jake, you know, don't know DDR Jake? I think he's the guy who streamed the Three Mountains... <laughs> three Mountains achievement, which means by using, like, I don't know, three really massive exploits he was able to take over the world as a ryuku it's like his hallmark and that's one of his even subscriber icons <clears throat> okay so we have napoli we can now peace out hedges hey hedges hey 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 hedges no what the actual fuck Okay, you guys go there if they want to be fresh. I will start sieging up his other provinces. This is just nonsense. I'm sitting on his face. And he's like, nah. 
We can win this with the Mamelukes. He's my bro. He can do this. So I will keep that. I will keep that diplomat around. That's not an error. That he's just sitting there. He may be useful. He did three mountains twice. Yes, but he did it even when nobody thought it's possible. Okay, so those two provinces with when we siege them up should give us some war score. Hopefully it will be enough to piece this bastard out. Yeah, most likely. He's coming back. No, he's actually going there. Like, seven of these guys are his, so if we can squeeze them out of the war it will be way easier to deal with the Mamelukan. I loved when one of our games was like really early in the game, something like this, and you got... Actually, right now I can just improve relations with someone. Stop off Austria or something. Oh, we caught, we caught. Yeah, it's 70%, let's not forget that. Uh, actually, let's check out the Mamelukes. Can I piece them out so I can deal with the Armenians? Ardalans are at 40%. Insult from Serbia. <sighs> so I want that to go... Well, let me check this out. Well, open Ducky. None of those, right? Yeah. So I'll flip this over to Persia. Or Syria. I could give him even this down here. Now I'm thinking about it. I know I wanted to make him smaller. But... It's costing nothing. Because I have claims on everything. This bit less still to core. This is a bitch to core still. Look at that. We don't have the ideas yet. To do. It, even at half, it will be pretty expensive. Damashik, we court, and this will give, a, give him a nice fort which I don't have to fund against the Mamelukes. I don't think I need any of this for the Pentarchy at all. That's for that's for sure. So I will give him that, and actually everything except for those two provinces up north. And if for, su for some goddamn reason I, I will not be able to get the Pentarchy, I will just just get him. It's just confusing all these uh, n names of the provinces. And also it looks like uh, the it's listing less over here. It only says Alexandria over here, Alkuts, Antakia, and Rome. Antakia is over here. Nothing about Halab, but I'm almost 100% sure that the mission is for Halab as well. Oh, this is expensive. Shit. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to take this myself. I may keep it in the Mameluk territory, but it's a fort. I don't want to give it to Syria. I don't need it for the modifier, I need it only for the mission, apparently. Owns Roma, Constantine, Antakia, Alcus, Alcudus, and Iskander Alexandria. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. I don't know why that says much more. That mission. There are five events that can increase your patriarch authority and not even one triggered till now, yes. I'm aware of that. And don't take out Kudus. Yeah, there's no mention of this province, so I think I will give this to Syria. I'll only keep Antakia. I wish there was a way to convert him to my one true faith, but there is not. There is not. Must be same religious group, see. Okay, I will give this to him then. But not Antakya, because that's just too insanely expensive. I will give him Damask as well. I may not even give, be able to give him everything. See how that? 
I think I'll only take those two provinces, Nablus and Alcudus. So I have Jerusalem. I'll just give all this to Persia. He's not going to do that, but I can squeeze this out of him, all of it. But not those, so I have to kind of pull down on some of this stuff. I can do this, except for Damas, but that's a fort. No, 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 I don't want him to keep the fort. Yeah, but Persia will have a core on it, so it's fine. This doesn't have a fort, so... Yeah, I think we'll go for this, so we can't do it yet. I think we'll be able to do it when we piece out hedges. That should work just fine. Okay, hedges. Wanna out? No. How about now? Yes. Okay, get out. Get out of the war! Bastards. Yeah, our generous peace offer has been accepted. 69%. How do you feel about this peace deal now, Senor Mameluk? Oh, really, Hexer is similar. Well, it's a nice thing to know now. Look at our manpower, it's just vanishing in front of my eyes. Even though these are all mercenaries. Just going down in the way. We need to recover, guys. Oh, look at that. Yeah. These are all Persian separatists. All of them will join and you'll hate me instantly. <laughs> like, instant hatred. I think he's also demolishing his ships, so may we may get some prestige out of those uh, bottles. And those Armenians are kind of getting up there, so let's move our armies up there as well. Surely this one will stay here, but this one should be sufficient to put them down when need arises. Okay, how do you feel about Episio now, when you've lost your friend? Still wants his, to lose his capital. It's basically that's it. Serbia declared on Bosnia. Really? Oh yeah, Bosnia. It's one province minor. Holy Serbia. I wonder how Ragusa is surviving. Everyone has claims on him. Except for me. Yeah, Bay of Alexandria. Kill it! Kill it with fire! <sighs> Even a heavy. No fleet, so let's go for some sweet blockades. Maybe that will make him peace out. That fort in Benghazi. Dastardly bastardly fort. What's happening over here? Venice is inv invading Fezzan. Oh yeah, he's trying to get Cyprus. Hmm. But if we take those two forts from him, he will only have that one. Remember that. Which means it will be super easy to take over. Yeah, the capital just has to fall. Good evening, prisoner. Who are my rivals? Uh, Mamelukes, Kuana Kurnu, and Aragon. Aragon. This is Morocco invading Tunis. <laughs> Holy shit. I think the next war will be against Europeans, although we have to do something about that. About the north as well. I don't think they are as important as the colonizers, though. Manpower is going now, now up. I don't think his army can really hurt this army, so we can move even you up there. They are at 90%. Okay, I need that access. I need that access. My general. Okay, get in there. And go to Erzurum. From there you should be able to get everywhere. Slowly but steadily coring that. Yeah, they all have the increased coring cost. At least it's not a hundred anymore. Holy shit, it was just insane. 42, come on. Do it. 42, yes. That's a 97. All of a sudden he's like, yes, I want that exact thing. 
I am not taking Andakia myself, but that can ha that can wait. Because they are not taking the other provinces for Pentaki either. But they are feeding Syria a lot of stuff, so that's gonna work. Out just swimmingly. He should like that. Only ten. I think it's more if if I give these provinces to him instead of returning them. I am giving them those provinces. Why did I return those? He likes it a bit more, actually. But it's a bit more Diplo points as well. I don't really care about that little of a difference, I guess. Was that it? I think that's what that would look like. Yes. Okay, why can't I take all this now? Oh, I was taking Jerusalem for the extra missionary that I can't really use. Was I? Yes, I was. I was. I was taking this. That's right. Uh, long live Syria, long live Ottomans, and. Give me my shit. There we go. QQ no longer by driver. I already had the, got the missionary even without converting it. Still Sunni. Yeah, this will not produce anything for me anyway, so it doesn't make much difference. I should be able to call both of them at the same time, which is fantastic, only for a little bit. We now have to lift some embargoes. Really, those places should give you extra missionary strength. Oh, I am in exile, it's fine. So come on, bring it, Armenian bastards. The sitting in mush is the most important thing because this will be protected. Even if it's sieged, it will not fall to our enemies. And we can nicely walk all the way down here. Perfect. We have even one more diplomat to send to evoke. Who did we lose? Only QQ? Yeah, only QQ. So who is the next guy? I guess the Timurids. Or Venice would be nice as well. He's rivaling me. He, ho he already hates me quite a bit. But I think over here I will, I will just eat this. And if he, be he may become a member of a coalition. Hmm. He hates Venice, so... I guess we will p pick up Venice. I don't have to attack them when it's Persia will get their core on their own. Hungary would be interesting as well, but... Hungary would be interesting as well. Who are your buddies, Hungary? He's allied with Austria. Venice is allied to Knights and Poland. Would be a nice proxy to start a war against Poland with support from uh, Austria. And bring down... Actually, I may actually do it right now. He has to uh, lower his uh, prestige down before this guy dies or something, so he loses the you over Lithuania. Hmm. Yeah, let's do Venice. Uh, and... But we'll use him against Poland, I guess. I don't want to take more attrition... More... Next expansion over there. War score... It's different. Different by 1% either way. Sometimes it's cheaper to do it one way, sometimes it's cheaper to do it the other way. It's just doesn't make much, much sense. Also, now embargoing Venice will be kind of powerful. It should give me some nice income boost. That's wrong. But I'm making a nice, nice sum of money. Come on, 90%. Just do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Do it. my luck is anything like my luck, then I'm just not gonna rise up. 90%. That's like every month they can rise up right now. That just can happen. Oh, he embargoed him. And he embargoed me as well. I'm not sure who is more powerful. I'm guessing Venice. 
Oh, we gained a ship. We gained a transport. Oh, I'm not going to disband that. That's for goddamn sure. So what can we do right now? This is what we grow and Mazab. Mostly I would join. France wouldn't. When is your when is your truce ending? Because having both Austria and France fighting against these guys would be amazing. So where is it? Oh, it's still a long ass time. Shoot. I thought they pieced them out separately, but they didn't. I'm not gonna wait another seven years for this. I guess Austria has to do. They may even like France. Yeah, they like each other, so they will get access. Castilla's only allied with Brittany and the other guys who was willing to join. Everyone. Nobody's really like unwilling to join. Britain is the closest one. How is how healthy is your army? Because mine isn't. Ah. Yeah. But he can make our move through France, so he is five just like me. He likes me, but only just. And he desires my provinces. I still have that claim, right? Yeah, I do. He's invading Granada, that's right. We have to stop him from taking that stuff. But first, you are right, those Armenian rebels are kind of an issue. So let's probably get out of claim on Aragon. Where is our, our true sending? 67. I think in the middle of the war, I may be able to... May be able to attack him without the French intervention, which would be fantastic. The problem with this plan is... I will have to release a vassal over here. Because I don't have the ideas yet I need. Leon is all the way over here. I would also release some vassal that will not colonize. Hmm. I love how he likes me. But he's alive with all the people I hate, so... Tough luck for you. How did I get CBO Mercia? Uh, from my Baleares? <laughs> Actually, they are not Baleares, they are Balear Adalari. Dan Alterview! Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you so much for following. Thank you, sir. How is the aggressive expansion looking like? It's cooling down. This is never gonna go away. I have no ambition over this, but this is nice. There's basically nothing left outside of the people that really kind of don't like me, like Genoa over there or the Pope. Hmm. We still can't attack him anyway. Come on, Armenian separatists, bring it. Do your worst. How don't I have access anymore? Well, he's outraged, so he's no longer giving me access. So how about you instead? How about that? Yeah, Trevisan is a bro. He's gonna give me access. Okay, diplomats are being lazy. Lazy balls. Uh, Girona, I guess. We need this, the fort. So Girona and the Russi Russion. This may give me some border tension with France. But I want those forts to be away, like gone. Yes, another two over here. It's just like, oh my god. Why do you have so many forts, Aragon? You bitch. Okay, and let's use the other guy to improve relations with these guys. So we maybe even, even with the Pope. Or maybe even with Gergenoa. Yeah, not not afraid of them. Yeah, let's let's stop off our buddy Ospia over there. We may need their need their help against Castile. Influenza! Come on, 90%. How long do I have to wait? How big is the chance that they will rise up? The chance is 22.2%. And they are like, nah, no. 
They even have peasants going up. That's a first. Yeah, you can go somewhere. Let's take the Kosovo from Serbia. I, I want the gold. I want it. I want it now. And maybe even build some buildings. We should be building some barracks. I can't. It's the next technology, right? Yes. Damn it. Hmm. What else can we build? Marketplace. Let's build it in Constantinople. That should be there this whole time. I remember it's like 10 plus. I will build it. Which is only those two provinces. This is decent as well, I guess. So we'll build it there as well. What else can we build? Temples. And a good temple location. Uh, oh, there. Point two. I don't know. Maybe about 16 is good enough as well. Uh, I guess so. What else can you build? Forts. We don't need more forts. We have enough forts as it is. Everything more both except for this one? Yes. So come on, bring it. Legitimus is still steadily going up. Do we have a missionary guy? No, we don't. I need her. I need him. Uh, I don't know if Catalonia colonizes. They are kind of on the inside. But the problem with Catalonia is that I want all of the coastline of this, so we have all the trade in the Genoa trade node. So it would be kind of awkward. It's all way too expensive. Like not all of it, but Mercia isn't particularly cheap, especially as we want that next... Actually, we want two ideas, at least. How is Persia doing? Yeah, he's, he's gonna do well. <laughs> Let me put it this way. He's gonna do fine. Just fine. Guys. How many wars there are? I'm not at war. This can't be right. <sighs> How about that war with Poland? I'm waiting for those Armenian separatists. 22%? It's like waiting for a fourth to fall. And I'm 100% sure he will join me against Venice. Was already otherwise occupied. Should be able to take quite a bit and just punish Poland for being Poland. Well, exhaustion? It shouldn't be that bad. It's not great. Could bump it down. But I want these rebels to spawn. Why are there rebels in Constantinople? Peasants. The autonomy decreased, yeah, that was maybe a mistake. Where else there? I think I'll only spawn in the capital. I will find the fort because I will forget about it. Venetian claims on Moria. Ah, oh. Venetians insulting me? Dare you. Okay, I may just go ahead and attack them. Fighting Ven Venice, Poland. Hmm. I wish France joined me. It's not gonna join me. That attitude toward enemies is just such a bullshit stat. I hate that. I know why it's in the game, but I, I, I don't have to like it for that, right? I think Bohemia having it, him on our side, like... I know it will put me slightly over the dipo limit. But I'm sure he hates Poland. He would jump in. 100%. And his army is nothing to... Shake a sticker. Look at that. He's 23 guys. Because we have to fight 26 and 27. So having Bohemia. He may even have claims there. I don't really care. He doesn't. Bohemia and Hungary would be quite fantastic for this war. It, may, it, will, it would make it much easier. And I don't have to get involved all that much. They will beat up Poland and Lithuania for me on their own. Just Austria and... Just Austria with, uh, with the Bohemia. You are Mercian and Aeronapia. I could claim those. You are right, actually. Maybe a good idea. Still want to wait for the cost. Still, this is too expensive. I don't want to c take anything from it. I'll just take power projection from uh, Venice. 
Maybe make them release Croatia or something so they don't have Dalmatia themselves. But that would be about it. I don't want any stuff from them until we get those that uh, those two idea groups or ideas and our first idea. I don't want to take that. Okay, let's start. Let's start this war. Should be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. ally Bohemia. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I have too many about the Galatians. Oh, I hate him. So it's not gonna work. So I will have to commit at least a little bit. Maybe someone else will attack him though. Maybe Bohemia itself. I haven't discovered Muscovy yet. I need those rebels to spawn, then we can be useful there. Come on! 90%, 22% chance to spawn! Okay, let's increase that chance by going away from this province. These are these are Ardalan, so this uh, doesn't even change anything. Just spawn! For fuck's sake! You know what? Fuck it. Show superiority, Austria is gonna join. Uh, the knights, Savoy will join as well. Why France wouldn't join? Maybe he will join later because of Savoy, I don't know. Let's just start this. Let's see how Austria deals with the, with the Poland Lithuania. <laughs> I don't need all these armies here actually. I think those 17 guys will be more than enough. Let's move you and you there. I may humiliate Poland, both Poland and the other guy, without taking anything from them. And that should give me enough of a projection, like, almost forever, for, for another hundred years. It should be good enough. Let's kill this tiny Venice, Venetian army. How are their fleets looking like? Yeah, they are pitiful. Let's go squish that fleet over here. You will die, Savoyan fleet. You are dead. There we go. Let's now take out something else. Oh, there's a. There are small pieces of Venetian. Oh, they are invading straight into me. Okay, so that fort is up. <laughs> that fort will be up. That fort will be up. That fort. We have to make a stand over here. Are they really going to ignore him completely? Well, Austria will at least deal with Savoy. Like, how, how much do I have to beg for those rebels to spawn? I don't know. I guess a lot. He's still level 4, so I should have better units. Oh, this army is bigger than ours. Uh, yes, quite big. Quite, quite a bit bigger, actually. And my manpower is short. But my money are fine, so let's just hire a couple more guys, like 10 more regiments of mercenaries. It's like, why is this shitty thing that's going up 90 fucking percent for a year? Year! Got to be fucking shitting me. Where are these forces that are not protecting me over here at all? And he's in, uh, he's in open fields. I wish I had more guys so I can kill him over there. Yeah, whatever. Yes! Oh, 90% this stuff is so fucking long! 21.5%! At least they are giving my forts time to, re to recap recuperate. Okay, Austria dealt with Savoy, I guess. I don't know what he's doing, but he's not helping particularly well. This is like on purpose. I don't understand this. Why wouldn't they spawn at 90% for so long? 22% chance to spawn. Let's go for that. 22% fucking percent to spawn nothing happens there we go finally oh my god yes kill them before this do it 
they should deal with these rebels for a while. Doesn't solve the peasant issue. They should be squished to pick our fights. It was insane how quickly they invaded us over there. <laughs> well, you should have better units. Even in the mountains, you shouldn't pose a threat at all. He has a better maneuver? No, he has the same. I mean, he has. He, he basically just has the maneuver. Yeah, goodbye. How did even Poland ally Venice? Crying out loud. Can you kill them or something? I know this is like, I don't know, mountains maybe. Maybe. Yeah, this is mountains as well. Of course. So you only. Like, we are losing this battle. What are you fucking doing? Here? Shit! No! No! 0.26. I should have withdrawn faster. Fucking A. Fuck these guys. Fuck them all. They wouldn't spawn for years! And when they spawn... Okay, I'm not gonna get angry. I'm just in my head picture torturing some people from a paradox by making them wait for a fort for hundreds of years to fall. Or for rebels to spawn and that's basically it. I think it's what they deserve. Maybe I can piece out... No, this is my... This is the war leader. Silent n silent n a second silent and forsaken forsaken okay silent and forsaken welcome aboard sir thank you so much for following yeah, this is just uh, and they can walk all the way <laughs> because I have this unfortified no he can't he shouldn't be able to move here how is he able to move from this point to this one this is next to a fort right so how is he moving there? He doesn't have access. How is he moving to Uskup? From one province next to a fort to another. How? How the fuck is he moving from that province to that, to that one? Because that wouldn't work for me. If you are next to a fort, you can't move to another advanced province. And if he had access through this guy, he would have to move like this. Lord Rickanthrope. Lord Lycanthrope. 777. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you so much for following. Can you explain this to me? This fort, I know the bigger is in the fort, but it is up. So how is he moving in here? Doesn't This doesn't apply to, like, stuff. Yep. Within your fourth and sonic zone of control. Interesting. Also, you go there. I don't care. It's my biggest army. I don't hear shit. He's moving even beyond that. Okay, I'm making a screen. I will ask on Reddit how this is working. Because this is just incredible. This is a fort. This shouldn't work. You shouldn't be able to walk through this. That's just, that's just bullshit. He has special walking skills. Military tech time, you are right. Those tactics will help us quite a bit. Yeah. Thank you. Great our horses. Oh, if this guy sieges this fort, I'll just, just go, I don't know, die. You should be getting, I think I did attack because, yeah, war for honor, so we should be getting ticking war scrolls slowly. This is incredible, like, why is they are cheating? I'm not, I don't have access through Serbia. They don't have access through Serbia. Even if they did, they would have to move through this. Fredukin, welcome aboard, sir. Thank you so much for following. How long is this episode, by the way? An hour? Okay. Let's end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to figure out why the AI is cheating and I will see you next time. Bye bye.